is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite 2-in-1 review on the WWE Elite Series 99 Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar figures. Kind of unbelievable that we're at Series 99, man. I mean, it feels like yesterday I was reviewing like 50 or 60 series ago, and now here we are at Elite 99, one wave away from Elite 100. Even though Elite 100 is kind of underwhelming, I don't want to get into all that. We've covered it ad nauseum at this point, but this wave looks very impressive. I think Elite 99 is going to be very high up on our, you know, Elite Series ranking when we do the best Elite sets of all time and ranking the main Elite lines 1 through 100. I think Elite 99 is a very strong wave, no recency bias in there, but this Seth Rollins looks beautiful besides this ugly head skull that has been around for 50 plus series. Despicable. Nonetheless, I digress. This Brock Lesnar figure looks immaculate. I cannot wait to crack him out of the packaging. He looks fantastic. This is a year of Brock Lesnar figures. Apparently the Amazon 3-pack featuring Roman Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar already shipped out to a few people. So that should be hitting every any day now. And that'll be our fourth Brock Lesnar. Very good figure of the year. Not counting basics. You got the Elite 96, the Ultimate, Amazon 3-pack, this one, the chase of this, of this version. I mean, my God, there are some beautiful Brock Lesnars this year. If you guys missed my top 10 Ultimates of the year, go check that out. That'll tell you everything you need to know. But here is Seth Rollins. Here is Brock Lesnar. Very excited for this review today. Cannot wait to crack him out. Here is Seth Rollins. Beautiful looking jacket in here, even though that head sculpt man is just ridiculously old but here is Seth Rollins on the side you got an image of Rollins on the back there rest of the figures in the wave got a little bio read he is looking immaculate one of my favorite current wrestlers and then one of uh, definitely one of my favorite wrestlers of all time Brock Lesnar man just a just a beast right I mean he is the beast this figure looks incredible already Brock Lesnar there down the side of course WWE logo image of Brock on the side and on the back you get a beautiful shot of the country man there looking like Thanos when he destroyed the world and decided to retire. Bio read right here, man. That is it for our packaging. I can't wait any longer, man. Let's shut the hell up. Let's crack Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar out of their packaging and find out what these figures are all about and take a look at them on the rotating base. Actually, before we do that, if you guys are interested in these figures, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Also, their Black Friday 4.0 sale is up, and you can use code MDTOYS to save an additional 10%. Don't use free shipping. That shit shall take forever, man. Get your figures earlier. Get your figures in hand. Use code MDTOYS toys to save 10%, but let's shut it up. Let's get into these figures. All right, guys, so here's Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar out of their packaging. I mean, good God, man. These figures are just getting better and better, man. It's unbelievable. I know, like, you could say recency bias or whatever, man, but these figures, especially in the last couple years, Mattel has been absolutely crushing it in the space of wrestling action figures and just action figures in general, man. They are pumping out some of the most quality figures, the scaling, the way they look, the details, the posability, the fill in hand. These figures are just getting better and better. We're on the cusp of 2020 three and it's only going to get better and better so i mean it's just ridiculous for our wallets ridiculous for the hobby and ridiculous for our brains to be honest with you but we are going to dive into these figures man see what they're all about i'm liking what we're seeing so far but you won't know unless you get all the details man so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into brock lesnar first cover his accessories and him himself and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at seth rollins accessories and seth rollins all right man so getting into brock lesnar's accessories we get a decent amount here you know i think the special part of this figure is the figure itself not as much as the accessories but it is some stuff we've seen in the past, but we do get some change-ups here. I am unaware if this cowboy hat is reused, but WWE Championship looks immaculate. It does look like they're using that same thin plated one we saw with the Ultimate Edition. WWE Championship looks great. It does have the Brock Lesnar side plates in there, which look really clean. Again, we did see that on the new Ultimate Edition 15 Brock Lesnar, which I do believe is hitting retail, so maybe you want to check your targets. Maybe you can get a late Christmas gift in there, but that figure is just simply incredible. One of my favorite figures that we've gotten from Mattel and one of my favorite figures that it's definitely my favorite figure we've seen this year I think but just unbelievable but this championship looks really good we also have a look at his cowboy hat here now I don't know if this is reused or not completely could be but it's just a solid black cowboy hat nothing you know immaculate or over the top however we must see if it fits the figure's head well and it does look like it grips the head nice you know even though he has the man butt on there like it grips pretty well this way not so much but if you flip it this way it does seem to grip it pretty nice like it'll stay on there okay 
never mind. So it doesn't go on there perfectly, but I think it gets the job done. It doesn't need to come all the way down like he's about to go, you know, rob some outlaw town or something like that, but it does look good. I like the head sculpt and everything, which we'll get into in a moment, but there's his cowboy hat. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get fisted hands here, even though these are normal sized hands. His, his hands need to be bigger, I think, than other people's, but he does come with fists and he does come with mic holding hands, which we've seen one million times. All right, man, so getting into the Brock Lesnar figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt. This is the same head sculpt we got with the Elite 96, and it was one of the interchangeable head sculpts we got with the Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition from this year, but it still looks great. I am not going to have any issues with it. I think it looks really, really solid. It's a great head sculpt. Looks just like Brock. I like the man bun. Beard color looks good. One of the best Brock heads they've ever made, I think. I think it really does capture his likeness. Now, this is where all the money's made right here, man. Overalls, flannel shirt, Brock Lesnar right here, man. How great is it that you can see the sword or dagger tattoo underneath right there on the collarbone like right in the middle on his neck that is just insane right there underneath the chin i love that i love that you get these buckles right here for the overalls you get the plaid with the black and white and gray these pockets in this like brown color excellent looking you even get the buttons in there and all the denim style sort of sculpted in there just excellent stuff right there even have his tattoos the big arms this is a magical figure right here man new crotch piece new torso i mean this looks just fantastic just fantastic stuff all around now could they have used baggier pants right here maybe, but it is like kind of the just regular jeans mold, which I really don't have a problem with, but I think they could have, got, they probably could have gotten away with giving him a new like slightly thicker pants or slightly more baggier pants, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dock any football points, man. This figure looks incredible, and I'm having a ton of fun with him already. I can't wait to get my hands on the chase figure. I mean, look at this guy, man. Look at him. Are you looking at him? Just, it, it just feels fantastic in the hand, man. Lots of articulation. Great looking ab crunch in here. Tight right there. I mean, dude, I am having all the fun with this Brock already. I'm about to go use this and put it with all my son's tractor toys and go farm a land or something like that. I, I'm having a ton of fun, man, but let's get into some Brock Lesnar figure comparisons. And for that, we do have the brand new Ultimate Edition 15 Brock over here. We have the current Elite 99 Brock, and then we have the Elite 96 Brock, and again, we do have that Amazon 3-pack coming... We also have the Amazon 3-pack Brock hitting any day now. Amazon exclusive, mind you, but these Brocks look fantastic. I'm having a ton of fun with them, and you have your ultimate version of this, and then we're going to get the other Elite. Oh my god, man, I'm just so hyped. These look immaculate. I don't know why the hell I said it so weird, but I'm happy with these figures. Immaculate. The hell am I? Macho Man Randy Savage? Alright, guys, so getting into Seth Rollins' accessories, starting out first. I mean, let's get into the jacket. I mean, this is what it's all about right here. That's what it's all about, isn't it? That's what it's always been about. The cloth goods on this figure are insane. We haven't seen a jacket of this quality in a little bit, man, especially in an Elite, but you got the big T graphic on the back right there. I know it's just lines. It's just aesthetic lines and stuff like that. So, you know, the jackets, the like the print. Like, I'll take this all day over rubber, bro. I don't want your rubber. I don't want the rubber accessories. People say, oh, well, the jacket's flat on that new Cody that we're getting. I'll take this all day, every single day. I will never be upset with this. This is beautiful. I would take this a hundred times man it has that like faux leather style feel it's even got like the faux fur on the cuffs here faux fur there you even have the faux fur around the collar right here very quiet this might be the best cloth accessory i've seen from mattel it is very close man but you got all this printed detail on here i'd rather it be printed bro i don't i don't give a goofy god dang about the textures on the rubber accessories why cue the clip like oh my god that goddamn fucking old school mattel stuck in that pose jacket. Gonna... This is fantastic. Now, I will say, if you want to take this this off of the figure, you do want to remove the hands, then slide this jacket off so you don't tear it or anything like that. Take care of these cloth accessories, man. This is beautiful. I will be buying this Seth Rollins a ton just for the jacket alone. I mean, this is a beautiful jacket, man. It deserves its praise. It feels great. Looks fantastic. Hey, hats off to Mattel. Clap it up for good accessories. This is beautiful. Thank you so much to Mattel for that. Now, outside of that, we do have the Kawhi Leonard Ricochet hands shaking hands. You know, nothing crazy there and then he also comes with mic holding hands so you get the interchangeable hands and the immaculate jacket i don't need to say anything else do i like the review's over all right guys so getting into seth rollins starting out with the head sculpt we all hate this head we don't hate it you know when it first came out 54 series ago this was the elite 45 seth rollins in the all white gear one of my favorite rollins figures of all time that is the same head sculpt we're getting here i guess they ran out of budget with all the new molds and craziness we have going into this wave like i understand it completely but jesus 
Jesus Christ. Just go with the Elite 93. I don't know, like, wh what? Why would you use this head sculpt? But, you know, head sculpt aside, you can easily just pop it off right there and then put on any head sculpt you want, and that'll look immaculate. Plenty of options you have for head sculpts. However, going down into the torso, same Seth Rollins torso we've seen, chest hair and stomach hair. Always send these figures over the top, similar to like an AJ Styles or something like that. If they add chest hair to that Ultimate Edition AJ Styles, which I hope they do, it'll really send it over the top. Those subtle details, but he's got the double jointed arms, the black wrist tape, nothing crazy there, but it, it, this isn't my favorite gear. It's sort of like his pirate-esque gear in the black and gold. You have like this kind of like concrete-y, washy deal going right here. No sculpts on the, on the crotch, which kind of upset me. You know, not like what we're getting with the Ultimate Edition Rollins coming soon, but he does have the black and gray on there, kind of like, it kind of looks like it's washed or worn. You have the black knee pad on this side, the gold knee pad over here with the black on the back, and then you have the gold on the back of this one over here. And then we do have these new kick pads and this little shin guard right here. Now, this is what's cool. Now, this was not like this in real life, right? Like, this was not a little piece like this. This is supposed to be connected to the kick pad, but instead of making a kick pad mold, like this one-off kick pad mold with this little lip on it, this was smart, I think, to add this. So you can keep that on there to get that little lip look with the gold plate and, you know, like that shin guard look. Or you could easily just remove this and have him in white kick pads. And I'm sure I'll use some, like, fantasy gears and stuff using this kick pad mold. This is all sculpted on, man. This gold right here with the stitching on the side and these, this sculpted detail on the front looks amazing, man. I think we've been waiting on some sculpted kick pads like this for other customs and looks of other characters we'd like to do. So this is probably going to be a figure, again, that I pick up a lot of. Simply just for the fix-up ability and the, you know, ability to switch there. But the kick pads look great. Solid white on the back. No line or anything. So that looks amazing. Very, very cool there. Black shoe detail, but he does have the little lip right there. And I don't think this, like, just comes off. The only way you could remove this is to pull the kick pad off and then slide it off. So I do like that as well, but I think it gets the job done, and I'm having a ton of fun with this Rollins, man. It looks so good, and like, I think if you head swap it, which we probably are going to do here in a moment, I think it's really going to send it over the top, because I don't think a lot of people, I don't know, a lot of people are going to keep the head sculpt on there, because a lot of people don't even fix up their figures, but it'll definitely be something that I look into and want to switch around, but this Rollins is one of the best they've made, I think, from head to toe, from the neck down, I should say, not head to toe. We, we don't like this head, but let's get into some Rollins figure comparisons. This is just reminding me why they didn't use the battle pack head sculpt right here that they've only used one time. Could have easily put that on this figure, but I guess they wanted a long hair smiling Rollins, so I get it. Why not just sculpt new hair and put a new hair piece on there? I don't know the details. Let's just shut the hell up. With the Elite 93, the top talents, the Elite 99, the Elite 86, and then the Build-A-Figure Doc Hendricks figure with the Seth Rollins head sculpt on there, and yeah, I mean, this head sculpt's obviously dated, and we're missing a lot of Rollins attires, man. I hope they throw this in the top talents line or something just to reuse this mold so we can get a new attire for Rollins, because he's worn so many crazy gears that could be action figures. But this one's not bad. I really like the gold. I think it stands out a lot, and I like this Rollins figure a lot, man. I'm I'm a Rollins fan, so I'm all for that, but let's pop this off and just see what the Elite 93 looks like on here. I do feel like the Elite 93 was a bit oversized, to be honest with you, but I still think if you wanted to put this figure head on here, that still looks incredible. You could still get away with that and not have any issues, but that looks really, really good, and then if you wanted to pop this off and come over here and and pop this battle pack head sculpt off. This is the one that I think looks the best, or I imagine is going to look the best. Yeah, look at that right there, man. You put that on there, and then you put the jacket on there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, my God, dude, look at how freaking sick this looks. Why didn't they do this? I don't know. You know, I don't make the football rules. I just deal with them. You know, that's just kind of where we are there, but this jacket on this figure looks insane with this head sculpt. I mean, just imagine putting this jacket on, like, all our different Rollins, man. Oh, uh, please re-release some old Rollins with this formula. Please, God, dude. It. But yeah, this this Rollins is fantastic, and it only gets better when you head swap and do some fix-ups, man. Fix-ups are the way of the world. This feels like a custom that I'm holding in my hand, but it's real life. But I think that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one WWE Elite Series 99 review of Elite 99 Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar. Man, I know I put the other head sculpt on this Rollins, but I want to show how great this figure truly can be when you remove the head sculpt. And I think a lot of people are going to be changing out the head sculpt anyway. Maybe I don't know. You guys can let me know what you're going to do. But this figure is a must-have. I think both of these are must-have. I love them. You know, if you're not a Brock Lesnar guy or you don't care about him being in the farmer gear, then you know it is what it is. You don't want him in this gear. You don't want him in this gear, but it's simply too awesome not to grab. I can't wait to get the chase. Like, I think this is immaculate. I think that Brock Lesnar is one of the most underrated wrestlers of all time. A lot of people leave him out of their, you know, their top countdown when it's all said and done, but that doesn't have anything to do with the figure. 
I just like to think about it and say it. But both of these are so fun, man. They're really great. If you're an action figure fan, I think you're going to enjoy these. And these are just simply awesome. I mean, that's all I can really say. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But this has been one of the more enjoyable reviews of WWE Elites in a minute, man. I'm, I'm having a ton of fun with these. Not that they haven't been fun. It's just this is one that's going to stand out in my memory. Is like, damn, you remember those figures? So that's how good these are. I'm excited for the Elite 99 ranking when we do My Damn Thoughts, if you guys are interested. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. You cross